The Fallout 4 gameplay loop is largely built on two concepts, shoot and loot. An average encounter usually goes something like this. You find an enemy, you shoot them, and then you loot them. Now that's all well and good, but this system only works as long as the player wants the loot. Otherwise, why bother with the shoot? There's multiple systems in place that strive to address this quandary, such as legendary drops, or the constant need for consumables in survival mode. But my personal favorites are the unique items, those hand-placed special items that can only be found in one place and are unlike anything else in the game. But did you know that one such one-of-a-kind item is hiding in plain sight in the settlement of Good Neighbor? Now I know what you're thinking. Everyone already knows about the secret pair of officially licensed Nike Air Jordan 1s that Hancock hides in his sink. My favorite subject. But I'm not talking about those. I'm of course talking about the other pinnacle of fashion in Good Neighbor, the one and only feathered dress on full display upon entering the memory den. This plumaged piece can actually be acquired and equipped with a max level pickpocket perk or with a little shoot and loot maneuver. But for everything Good Neighbor does right with fashion, they do something wrong with their inhabitants. Hey you, finally awake. Criminals crammed into every crevice and back alley crack den, and worst of all, not one, but two clankers allowed to freely roam the streets and operate their own small local businesses. Luckily, there's one man ready to stand up to the scum and scrub the town clean, and his name is Joe Joeman. Boston's favorite post-apocalyptic Luddite on a quest to destroy all robots and free the commonwealth. Joe is well versed in neighborly affairs. Oh, the, the neighbors are fighting. Oh shit! And the last time he was in Bad Neighbor, not only did he notice the filth and corruption, he also noticed the feathered dress. Being a cosmetic connoisseur himself, he was disappointed to find out that Irma was essential at least until you do a certain quest. So, with no ulterior motives whatsoever, Joe decided it was time to do something about this town and make neighbor good again. Our first step was to secure a man in the chair, so to speak, an informant, conveniently located in a closet right next to Irma. Good neighbor's crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. I hear you. It's a mess out there. With a silver shroud? <laughs> That's what we need. Haha, <laughs> say less, my crusty co-conspirator. But before we could embody Good Neighbor Savior, we needed to look the part, so we had to do a nearby comic book store to prepare our cosplay. How hard could it be? We're going- it should be gonna be a bunch of nerds in here. In a comic book store? Let's just blast them all. To our absolute horror, there seemed to be a Magic the Gathering tournament underway inside. Luckily, we were able to sweep with our Institute Rifle Commander deck. The tournament grand prize was a level up, which we wasted immediately. No, I'm not picking Vads. <laughs> we're not getting Vads. It doesn't do anything. Oh my god, fine, fine. Here, you want Vans? You want Vans? The path to your closest quest target is displayed in Vats. <laughs> oh, great. Here's our... Here's our, our van's path. Let me follow the lead here. It's already gone. After becoming the first man on Earth to choose the van's perk, we used it to locate the costume. Uh, are those feet? Feet spotted. We grabbed our costume and with the help of vans, managed to find our way back outside. The fuck was that? Oh, don't be, don't be scared, buddy. <laughs> Ready to finally fight crime, we return to the lion's den to begin our duties. Let me, let me think. How could I get back to Good Neighbor from here? If only there was a, a GPS perk that could lead me there. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, of course. I should walk in a straight line to the front door. That's such a good idea, guys. I'm so glad we got this Vans perk. This is so useful. Once inside, it was time to suit up. So there, in the middle of the street, we stripped down and became the Silver Shroud. And thus began the arduous task of fixing Good Neighbor. What appears to be the issue in this dark alley? Halt, criminal, step away from the body. 
What's with the fancy duds? Your crimes have gone unpunished for too long. What the hell's wrong with you? Oh, whoa, 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 oh, 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 shit, oh, shit. Your reign of terror ends now, villain. This is a good old fashioned alleyway beatdown. Crime doesn't pay, and you have debts to pay. That didn't really make sense. That was a bad cat. We'll work on the catchphrase. Oh, what's a bunch of no good criminals doing in this back alley? Hey, you follow oh. the clown. This is my turf clown, and I don't appreciate what you call them as trespasses. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today, you face. The Silver Shroud! Uh, who you say? The Silver Shroud! Tell you what, I'll pay you, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. Stop selling to children, a miscreant, or face my wrath. Uh, you're through, son. Screw you! Yeah! Face the freak. Yeah! Face the Silver Shroud! Oh my god, he hurts a lot, actually. I'll give the Silver Shroud a second to heal his mortal wounds. I need to think of another justice catchphrase while I smoke another c cigarette over their corpses. Crime is a drug, and you're addicted, and I'm rehab. That does it. That's- I'm still working on the- hey, I'm a new superhero, I'm working on the catchphrases. Looks like you've been smoked. That's good. I like that. After beating or shooting every criminal we could find at a glance, we needed to broaden our search. If you want to find lowlifes, you gotta talk to other lowlifes. <sighs> this is gonna be hard. Begrudgingly, Joe confronted Whitechapel Charlie to ascertain the location of any of his heinous associates. You look upon the Silver Shroud. Like the filthy sewer rat he is, he was more than ready to snitch on his so-called friend. You're set on me here for fee to be arranged. It is not wise to stand between the Silver Shroud and righteous justice. In that case, if that's just south of good neighbor. Ah, a home invasion of justice. Now that's heroic. How many bullets do we have left? 77? That's enough for justice. Oh shit. Stand down, criminals! You face the Silver Shroud! That's what we call a Joverdose. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Who keeps a landmine inside their house? That's gotta break the lease or something. Oh, there she is. Greetings, criminal. Justice has come. You have no idea who you're dealing with. I do so like it when the little bug crawls willingly into the spider's webs. Uh, did she just call me an insect? You have taken your last life, villain. You stole my line. <laughs> oh, evil villain laugh! Your days of threatening the good people of Good Neighbor are Jover. I would love to water Joe right now, but, um, let's see. Best I could do is a blood pack. Here, drink up, Joe. No matter how much bloodshed there is, it will never quench my thirst for justice. Only the safety of the good citizens of this town can quench his thirst. Oh my god! What the f- Oh! Oh, my legs! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, the Silver Shroud needs to return to the Shroud Cave. There's some justice bullets in my colon right now. <laughs> Rumors of the Shroud's work were spreading so far that the mayor himself requested counsel with him. Some costume freak is operating in Good Neighbor. Freak? That seems a bit insulting. This neighborhood is ill. I... I'm the cure. You're priceless. I've been busy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hancock. There's <laughs> coughing up blood and metal chunks. Why the get up? Many have sought to pierce the shroud to no avail. Just don't stop. The low lives you took out all belong to the same asshole. <laughs> and that asshole's planning some old fashioned.
passion revenge on you. You dig? Well, Hancock, let me tell you one thing about the Silver Shroud. He will be judged for his crimes. Okay, wait, no, I won't be- the Silver- I'm sorry, that- that didn't line up right. The Silver Shroud will not be judged for his crimes. He has not committed any crimes. Just keep piling those body bags up until you find the location of the big guy himself. Sinjin thinks he's above judgment, but no one is safe from the Silver Shroud. Alright, Joe is really struggling to come up with a line on that one. Before we could continue our crusade, Joe needed the many shotgun pellets removed from his body. But first, we must get into the invisible shroud mobile. Away! <laughs> to the shroud cave. You guys like my invisible shroud mobile? You would not believe how much that thing cost. Yeah, did you see it just now? Well, the answer is no, you didn't, because it's invisible. It's the invisible shroud mobile. Dr. Mari, please. I'm coughing up blood. You have to find Virgil. Okay, she's not helping. Oh, wait, there's water, though. Okay, wait, hold on. We can just rob her. Hey, you don't mind if I throw some of my trash on the floor here, do you? In return for your generous donation of stim packs and water, I offer you two empty cigarette packs and four glass bottles. The Shroud always pays his debts. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, gang. Everyone into the invisible Joe mobile or Shroud mobile, whatever the fuck it's called. Oh yeah, look at the look at the speed on this. We had so many miles per gallon, you wouldn't even believe. Okay, the the Shroud mobile is getting winded. We're gonna have to slow down to normal speed limits for a second. Oh shit, there's a lot of them. Park criminals, heed my words. Your days are numbered, unless you change your ways. You've been really naughty, Mr. Shroud. Oh, don't call me naughty. The, the Shroud doesn't appreciate flirtation. Now it's time to rip your goddamn heart Oh, hold on, ma'am. The Shroud would like to not fucking die. Okay, negotiations are off the table. Joe to hell. Oh, God, my arms. Oh. Special delivery. <laughs> I just punched Valentine in the back of the head. Special delivery. Did somebody order a justice burger? Justice wins on this day. Quickly, <laughs> everyone into the into the shroud mobile. It's time to Joe. Oh shit. Oh, he was cooking up a fine meal. The shroud mobile has gotten a flat tire in a bad neighborhood. That's how you do it. Oh my god. Thank god we got the vans perk. Our GPS is working again. Now I know exactly where to go. Shit. Stay back, criminal. I know kung fu. I hear beeping. Ah! <laughs> god damn it. We really need to fix the locking doors on the shroud mobile. This is a rough neighborhood. Oh, there they are. Oh shit. They're shooting on sight. They're shooting on sight. You cannot evade justice. Your actions have consequences. I'm bleeding again. Dirtbag. Good neighbor will be a safer place without you around. Oh shit, the villain is up here. Ah, he's begging for mercy. Oh my god. Do not flee. You cannot escape your fate. You must be apprehended and brought to justice, Northy. I shall injure your legs. There, now you have nowhere to run. You're coming with me. Oh, shit. Valentine, we are bringing him in live. We don't have to... We are ready to finally arrest one. That was a little Jover kill, don't you think? <laughs> with all the criminals apprehended, Joe returned to the Shroud Cave. Oh. You want to you wanna talk to me, do you, Irma? Oh, it's you. Oh, sugar. I told Kent all that hero stuff was going to get you both killed. Oh, God. Irma, I'm going to need you to calm down, ma'am. Calm yourself. The Shroud is here to help. Please, stop. That's what got Kent into trouble in the first place. Stop? You d you dare <laughs> stand against the Silver Shroud? A dozen raiders barged in and snatched him. Have no fear, ma'am. Kent will be home before you know it. By the way, guys, if you want to know what the what the Shroudmobile actually looks like, 
It's a, uh, it's a white Ford Bronco. Oh, he's in a hospital. Oh my god, we have to find Shinji in the hospital? Guys, it's time for the hospital scene. Oh, no, it's, it's Sinjin. Never mind. Different hospital scene. And you, Shroud, you step any closer, and we get to see what's inside Ken's head. Listen, you criminal dirtbags. Two's a company, but three's a shroud. All I gotta do is pull the trigger. Calm down, Sinjin. I'm thinking of a cool catchphrase. You shield yourself behind an innocent. You are craven, Sinjin. And you shall fall before Don't talk to me. me like that. I'm going to kill Kent. Then we're gonna shoot the hell out of you. Nothing's gonna be left but paste. What happens is this. Everyone that points a gun at me dies. Every last Nice one. try. <laughs> they fear me more than they'll ever fear a loser like you. I'm not a loser, Sinjin. I can't. The only losers are criminals. Uh, fuck. Welcome to the Thunder Dome. It feels less effective when I'm cowering in fear. Wait, Kent died? Hold on. We can fix this. Blast him. I'm sorry, Ken. In this town, the Silver Shroud runs the Joe. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, did I save him? That doesn't look like he survived. Surrender, and the Shroud will be proud. Okay. 58. Got him! Got him! Got him! Fuck. Fuck. Uh, stand down, criminals! Or I'm gonna fucking shoot you! How about that? How's that for a catchphrase, you dirtbags? The only language you really need to speak to some criminals is bullets. <sighs> You're welcome, Kent. Ah, oh, shit! He died! Sometimes... In this line of work, you can't save everyone. The most important thing is that you forgive yourself and move on. He would want us to be happy. He, would, he wouldn't want us to dwell on this moment. He'd want us to live on. He'd want to be alive. Well, you can't always get what you want. These dirtbag criminals had the nerve to kill Kent before we even arrived on location. How horrible is that? That they pretended to hold him hostage, and really it was his corpse all along, and there was no chance to save him. Truly a dastardly plan. Well, there's nothing to be done now. We must return to the Shroud Cave. Irma, you insulted the Shroud, and you also allowed Kent to be kidnapped, where he was later slain. But truthfully, Irma, it was never about justice. It was about just this. With the Silver Shroud quest completed, Irma's immortality had been revoked, meaning Joe could finally get his hands on that sweet, sweet feathered dress. Joe was done playing hero. It was time to be a real hero. If we truly want good neighbor to be a good neighborhood, there's two targets that we need to eliminate still. Oh! Unfortunately, Joe realized upon stepping outside that robot destruction would be nigh impossible under these circumstances, and his new objective was simple. Escape. Okay, this is where the drugs come in. Let's go for the stealth approach. Okay, cover's blown up, do all the drugs again, and then book it to the invisible shroud mobile! <laughs> Away! Oh, fuck. Damn it! We're trucking it, we're gone. The invisible shroud mobile is built for this exact situation. Go! Please, go! Oh, stim pack. Go! Let me out, let me out! Oh, please. Oh my god. Oh. Tauntingly, Joe lit up one more cigarette outside the walls to celebrate. 
We can never go back to Good Neighbor ever. Oh, we will come back. But oh, we found out that they're a town of robot sympathizers. And they would rather turn on- Oh, fuck! No, Valentine! Damn it! We were so close! At the last moment, our sidekick betrayed us, presumably envious of our newfound garb. So, we dismissed him and sent him ahead as a decoy. Go ahead. Go ahead, Valentine. Lead the way. This is a good one. We didn't get shot yet. And when I run out of AP, I'll pop a Nuka-Cola Quantum. Gun it. Gun it. Yeah? 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 Okay. I misclicked. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Go. Go. It's so clean. Oh, it's so clean. It was perfect. We schmooved that time. No! You gotta be shitting me! It crashed! By the power instilled within me by the Silver Shroud. I will hop in the sh Silver Shroud Mobile and escape! Go. Fuck, I need more jet. Go. Go, please, for the love of God. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes. After making it outside for the third time, Joe was safe at last. And that is how you steal Irma's dress.